Ooh. Oh. 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 Did it bite <laughs> yeah. you? Yeah. It bit you? No, I think it's got a little like. <laughs> <laughs> okay, me and my son Al are out at Project 211. This is the smaller of the two destination plots. It's half good and half very disappointing. Uh, the good half is the corn. Um, you can see we have plenty of corn coming up very nicely in rows. Uh, so basically from here to the left is corn and to the right is soybeans. The soybeans are what's disappointing. I, they're not coming up. I have no idea why. Uh, the only thing I could maybe think of is the planter was a little too deep or too shallow, but beans are so resilient and easy to grow that that is kind so of bizarre. So, fingers crossed, the corn keeps going pretty good. I mean, out here we planted beans too, just for overflow, just so the deer can eat outside of the fence here. And there is, uh, like... Hardly anything coming up. I mean, hardly anything. Let me show you these beans over here, or what's not there. I might have to come and replant. I don't know what I'm going to do here. Okay, so there's a few coming up, but I mean a few. Like, there's one right there. I mean, there's a couple in the rows, but it's just, I mean, incredibly disappointing. There's one right there. I mean, there's a few, but uh, I just, I don't know what to make of it, honestly. Man. Disappointing right now. But that's why you stack your food plots. Um, this is really just preparation. Well, okay, not inside of the fence, but... If the beans don't work, I'll plant greens here in August for a fall plot. But uh, this is just disappointing. I mean, just look down the rows. You see almost nothing. So I guess if it was easy, everyone would have it. Let's go check some other plots anyway. Okay, here's another one. Uh, it looks a little better. Not a ton, but there's a few plants coming up. Uh, I don't know. I'm going to have to check that planter and maybe consider coming out and replanting again. The only thing I could think of was maybe the planter is too deep. Maybe I had it set too deep. That, But with this sod in that, it was, it's hard to get even deep enough. But if they're too shallow, they still come up. But, I mean, you know, you got some plants coming up there, 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 there. It's just, it should be a full row of green. All right, you want to talk horse flyage. Look at the size of this thing right here. I mean, that is just nasty. I mean, downright nasty. Sheesh. I mean, that could literally be an alien from another planet. See how close we can get. It's like four inches long. All right, maybe not, but it's big. All right, we're thinking it might be a cicada, but it is ugly. Oh. Oh, did it bite you? Yeah. It bit you? No, I think it's got a little like... <laughs> it didn't hurt, it just scared me. Uh, nice. I think it's got a little like pincher that it like checks stuff with. Uh, it was like, I felt it pressure for taste a second. Test. And it was going deeper and deeper and then it went Ta deep. Taste down. test of Al's skin. <laughs> <laughs> All right, 
right, here's another one. Um, looks like another bust. I mean, there's some beans coming up. But I just, it's kind of perplexing what's going on. You know, like that one's pretty small. I mean, it's, I suppose it's possible that one's pretty small. It's possible they're still coming up. You know, like that one. That's pretty fresh. So it's possible they'll thicken up, but uh, I mean, look at most of them here like this. That's where they all should be. Oh, well, good thing most of these are just prep plots. Um, it's just basically prep, soil prep for the fall plots. All right, we're coming up to the corn plot, the big one, fingers crossed. Uh, this one would be really disappointing if she ain't coming up. I see some green. What do you say, Al? I, I see a lot of green. A lot of green rows. Okay, our battery's dead here. Um, I think I think he's a little off on the direction of the uh, recharge. That's my best guess as to why it's well, off. Look at the corn here. Just beautiful. Nice rows all the way down. So this one's looking good. Looking good. Food plot number two. Still working on the corn. Hey, hold up once! Give us some words of wisdom. This is fun. Living that, the dream, baby. This is it, huh? Yeah, this is it. That way. Yeah, living the dream. I appreciate you coming out, man. My pleasure, Joe. Okay, so me and Al are taking a walk around. The battery actually showed charged, which is great. So we're taking some shovels and we're uh, hitting hitting these weeds with the hopes that we can, uh, I'm guessing it's shorted or something, but either that or the unit ain't working right. We'll check after this. Okay, me and Al went and trimmed everything and it still wasn't working and I did a little troubleshooting here. And basically the plug in the back of the box was loose. So now you could hear clicking again. We're back up and running. So this corn plot is looking beautiful. And here's a look at a remote one way in the back corner. Same thing, uh, very few beans. I mean, there's just a couple. Um, pretty much a strikeout. So I'm gonna look at my options here, decide what I'm gonna do. If I'm gonna till it, broadcast some more beans, or uh, what I'm gonna do. Okay, here's my junior biologist. What, what is this plant? Solidago canadensis. And what is that ball that you're opening up? It's a gall that the plant makes. Does it in defense of like insects that are trying to get in. So what, it covers up insects with that ball? It grows yep, around Yep, so essentially them? they'll live in there and they'll drop larva in there. So insects? Mm -hmm. Can't really tell if there's any in there right now. But... So how is it a defense mechanism for the plant? We're looking for insect larvae. Okay, so the insects lay larvae, then what, the plant grows around them? Yeah, so depending on where it is, like if it's towards the top, it'll grow a rose gall, but if it's towards the stem, it'll grow a ball gall. Huh. Basically, it's just the plant's way of saying that I don't want you in here, so I'm just gonna trap you. But oh, inversely, wow. that's what like the insect wants and they just Boy, that could be like a, the that could be like a good uh, chewy morsel of treat there if you were like if you were like oh, yeah. uh, on survival mode you, you i'm sure they're a little rotten in there if the if the bugs die 
nice little gooey center. See, we learned something today. Here's a look from the ground. This should, it's supposed to be an acre and a half. I didn't measure it, I estimated it, but it's probably only going to be about an acre this year, and I can expand it in the years coming. But uh, here you can see kind of how he straddles that, so we're double rowing them. Starting to get the hang of it. You getting the hang of it? Yeah, boy, Joe. We're keeping a hard working man. Oh, I'm slowing you down, huh? 